All right, to watch this video for Monday, April 2nd. I'm showing you the SPY, another decent bounce on, I keep wanting to say Friday, but it's Thursday. The market was closed on Friday. I'm going to slide this over, show you Tesla call from the room. These are intraday candles. We had Tesla on bounce watch, if you remember. Um, it popped, this, the opening five minute candle was right here. Then it kind of put in a lower high. So landed on my radar. I love the fact that this lower high was right at 258 it hit 258 to the number and if you've watched our trading inflection and points free webinar um you know that we love breaks of whole numbers especially when they coincide with the chart right so this puts in a lower high and then does this little you could argue this is kind of a cup and handle that it formed so i, I kept telling everybody if this thing breaks 258 i love it this is tesla it's really really oversold on the daily and so at 258 and then it comes back up and right through 258 here. Uh, one of the reasons I love it is because you had the earlier high of day above as another catalyst. Like every call I make has another catalyst above on the chart. So you've got a reason to buy it here through this 258 lower high because you know that if it breaks a high of day, you might get a little bit of a short squeeze. All right. And if I go to the end result on Tesla on Thursday, um, there's that early high. There's that little flag kind of cup and handle. And there's the 258. It actually went up from 258 to 270 95, almost 271. Huge move. A nickel away from $13 a share from the call. Um, and did a similar call on NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA was through 225 right on this candle here. You still had an intraday covered handle. NVIDIA was also oversold. And through 225, if you notice, uh, another whole number where there was a big seller there, 225.50 would be a high of daybreak. So another whole number break with a high of daybreak above is another catalyst. And from the NVIDIA call 225, it went to 235.50. It's the first time since I've been running this site. I opened it in 2004. Pretty sure this is the first time I've ever had two stocks that I called uh, that moved up more than $10 a share. Now, usually you guys know I like the small caps. Um, but I always have to segue into what's working. And there were some really nice setups uh, for oversold bounces in NVIDIA and Tesla. Um, what am I watching for Monday? Um, NXPI, nice little flush on Thursday. Remember the market was closed on Friday. Uh, right down to the 200 day, a nice reversal. So I'm gonna see if that bounce can continue on Monday. KBH, uh, this isn't a great setup, but it, it found, you know, had support back here and bounced off that support again. You also had the 200 day below. On an intraday basis, this thing got kind of a really nice volume upside shape move um, kind of in the afternoon on Friday. So, I mean, I like the chart. I like the fact that it's held support and then got kind of some volume coming into it and a decent close, I guess, on, um, on Thursday. So we'll see. I, I'm not in love with that one. I'm also not in love with this one. AYTU. I generally don't trade stuff under a buck. Uh, this just did nothing for like, I don't know, a month straight here. And then I uh, had a big three-day run. It's pulled back for a couple days. So, uh, you know, I have made some money trading this in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, AYTU, but I generally don't go to those. Still worth watching, I think. GameStop, I don't know, let me go to, let me go to monthly candles here. So using monthly, it's at new lows since, I don't know, just, just slide over here since uh, 2005 probably so you can see that it gapped down on uh, on thursday put in an early high speaking of inflection points early high of 13 it touched 13 again and then closed at 1260 ish so my instincts say hey if this breaks 13 you're up into the gap plus you hit 13 twice on thursday and it failed to break through so i kind of like it over that but who knows how it's going to open i think it's worth having on watch CDMO, um, nice volume for this stock on Thursday and a strong close. We'll see if that can kind of break up into that gap a little bit. And then lastly, very small list because there's just not much out there right now uh, as far as setups that I look for. OCX, got a big volume spike. I don't really trust this one. I kind of think this might have just been some Twitter pump, um, but it did go from 128 to 285 on an intraday basis before settling in at 210. Uh, I couldn't find news on it. Doesn't mean there's not news out there. I just didn't find it. So maybe a red to green in this one, but uh, do some due diligence on that one. Um, quick comment. 
I have jury duty on Monday, so I won't be trading with y'all. If you're a member, if you're not a member, um, I won't be there, but uh, Wayne will be there running the show. Um, but it won't be a normal day in that where Wayne and I are both on the mic discussing so everyone can hear setups as they're unfolding in real time. Um, so, you know, just know that. But uh, I'm hoping to be back on Tuesday. Man, if I get chosen for this jury, it's looking like a three-week thing. So uh, uh, we'll see what I can do. i show up in a Show up in a, a MAGA hat or something, right? That ought to get me out of jury duty. Anyway, um, enjoy the rest of your Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. And we'll see everybody. Well, you'll see each other on Monday, and hopefully I'll see everybody on Tuesday.